So you forgot your pin to your parental controls on your Fire TV device and you need to know how to reset it. Let me show you how. Hello and welcome to DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man and on today's video I am going to show you how to reset the pin for your parental controls on all your Fire TV devices. Now I'm going to show you how to do it on a PC and I'm also going to show you how to do it on a phone and a tablet. This video also goes in conjunction with a question that I received in one of my comments. This question comes from a person called Andres Pat Melniks. Now if I mispronounce your last name I truly apologize. But the question reads, parental control has five digits but my Amazon Fire TV is asking for only four digits. How is it possible? Unfortunately I don't remember the four digits so what can I do? All right, Andres, to answer your first question is, I haven't seen a four digit request since the first generation Fire Stick. So I will ask you if you have an old school Fire TV device or an old school Fire uh, Stick, like a first generation, because those devices are obsolete by Amazon. And what that means is they no longer sell it. Therefore, they no longer provide updates for it. Every one of the new devices from the second generation moving forward requires five-digit um, five digit pin requests or five-digit minimum for you to set up parental control. So um, I will let you get back to me on that. However, I feel that resetting your pin may still fix the problem that you're having on your end. If it doesn't, please leave me a comment and I will go ahead and address it the best way that I can. All right, so I want to go ahead and mention a few things before we get started. The first thing I want to mention is that my account that you're going to be seeing on this video is a business account. So what that means is that it may look slightly different than what your personal account may look like. However, the places that we're going to go to should still take you to um, the options that we're going to need to go ahead and reset your pen. It sh the options should be in somewhere in the page in which we go to. And it may not be located in the same exact spot, but you should be still be able to find it there. If you don't and it becomes a big factor, leave me a comment below and I will go ahead and address it. And at the end of this video, I am going to show you a shortcut to avoiding having to do all this stuff if you don't want to. But it does require you calling Amazon. And I'll tell you the details of that in just a moment right after the demonstration. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first thing that we're going to do here on a PC is we're going to look for a web browser. So let's go ahead and find a web browser. I'm using Google Chrome. You can use whatever you like to get to your Amazon account. On the search bar, you're going to go ahead and click app, uh, type in Amazon.com. I am going to click on my shortcut, but you go ahead and type in Amazon.com. If you already logged in, it'll take you right into your Amazon account. If you're not logged in, it will go ahead and prompt you to go ahead and put your Amazon username and password. Once you do that and you're seeing this screen, you can continue by going over here where it says hello and then your name, hovering over it and going down to, to where it says your account. Click on your account. I want to mention that this account that you're looking at this video right now is a business account, not a personal one. So that might make it look slightly different than yours if you have a personal one. However, what we're looking for is all the same. So you might see a tab for it here. You might find it down here. But what we're looking for right now is called Prime Video Settings. And that's located for me right here under Digital Content and Devices, Prime Video Settings. Okay. Once you find it, whether it's down here or in a tab up here, go ahead and click on it. And it's going to prompt you over to this section here where we're going to focus on where it says parental control. Click on parental control. And here you can change the pin. On the first line here it says prime video pin. You're going to go over here and click on change. And then you're going to type in the five digit pin. It has to be five digits. Minimum five, maximum five. That's all you can put on there. For the sake of this video, I'm going to put all ones. One, two, three, four, five and we're going to go ahead and click on save and now that pin has been reset on all the devices that have the parental control currently turned on it also has reset this pin to all devices that you want to activate the parental control so that said now let me show you how to do it on a cell phone and a tablet this is how 
Okay, so I'm currently on an Android phone, and what you want to do is you want to look for your Amazon shopping application. This will work also on a tablet or any iPhone devices. Find your application. It's going to take you over to your Amazon account using the application. Now, this is the important part. You're not going to find it in any settings or anything, you know, within the application itself. You're going to have to go to the search bar, like if you're going to be looking for something you're going to purchase. So go ahead and click on that. And you're going to type in Prime Video. What you see there, you're going to go ahead and type that in, Prime Video. And then you're going to click on Search or Go. And it's going to take you over to the Prime Video part of your account. At this point, you want to go ahead and click on where it says Menu, as you can see there. It says Menu. Let's go ahead and click on that. And then once you click on Menu, you want to scroll down and click on where it says settings and once you click on settings you're going to go ahead and click on where it says parental control and there you'll be able to click on change once you click on change you can go ahead and put whatever pin you want again i'm going to put all ones just for the sake of the video once you click on all ones you can hit go and then that would automatically change the pin. You said you've changed your pin and you're all set. Now you can go ahead and exit out of the app. And if you go back to the Fire Stick, you'll notice that the pin has changed. There it is, guys. Now you know how to go ahead and reset your pin using a PC. And you know how to do it also using a phone, which is the same thing as using a tablet. Okay. So now I want to address a few questions that I'm anticipating receiving in my comments. One of the questions is, if you have multiple Fire devices, or if you're sharing uh, Fire devices with family members, meaning that you have your account registered to their devices for the purpose of them having Prime Video, okay, um, does this reset the pin on their devices as well? The answer is yes, it does. If they have parental controls on, because that particular device is registered to your account, that will reset their parental controls pin to whatever you just reset it to okay can that be changed if um if it does do that so uh and the the answer to that one is yes so basically what you do if that happens to be the case and i'm going to give you a scenario um my parents have a fire stick in their home and they have parental controls on in case my kids ever come over they don't click on anything that they're not supposed to right um in that Fire Stick, it is registered to my personal account because I want them to take advantage of Prime Benefits or Prime Video in that particular case. When I just reset my PIN, I also reset the PIN in their house on their Fire Stick because it's registered to my account. So how do they go about fixing that if they want to put their own PIN that they're always going to remember? Once that PIN has been reset, you tell them what the PIN is that you reset it to. They go into the parental controls on the Fire Stick itself and then change the pin within the Fire Stick itself, which will give you that option on the very bottom. It'll, it'll, once you go into parental controls on the very bottom, it'll say change pin. Click on that, put the, the original pin that you set it to first, and then it's gonna ask you what is the new pin that you want to put on there, and they can do that. And that's only going to affect their Fire Stick. It's not gonna affect anything on your account. It's not gonna affect anything on any other Fire Stick that you have in your home. That's gonna be specifically just for that Fire Stick. Okay, another question that I may be asked is, does this mean if I have multiple devices and I have parental control on just one, which is my kids room, if I set, if I reset this pin, is it going to turn on parental controls on every other device in my home? And the answer is no, it will not turn on parental controls on any other device in your home. But now that you have a set pin, if you ever decide to turn on parental controls, on a, on a new fire stick rather than asking you to set up a new pin on the fire stick itself it's going to find on your account that you already have a pin selected so it's just going to ask you to go ahead and enter that pin and then you'll be able to go ahead and turn on parental controls and do whatever you want uh, those are the two main questions that i think i will be asked in the comments however if you have a different scenario and you have a different question don't hesitate to leave it in the comments and i promise i will get back to you as fast as possible now 
for that shortcut that I promise you guys. If you guys don't want to go through all this, going through your account, going through your phone or tablet, you just want to just go ahead and change this pin as soon as possible. You can't obviously do it on the Fire Stick. Um, you're, it's not going to allow you to do a factory reset on a Fire Stick that has a parental control locked and you can't put the pin number because you forgot it. So that's not an option. So the only thing that you can do is calling Amazon. You call Amazon and the first thing you ask, the first representative that answers is connect me over to the Fire Stick department because there are different departments for this. Once they connect you over to the Fire Stick department, you ask the representative if they can please send you a link to changing your parental control pin on your Fire TV device. They will send you a link that's associated with your account. You click on it. That link is going to prompt you to put in your Amazon password for the first time to verify that it's really you. Once you go in, it'll take you right to parental controls. You click on parental controls, click on change, and it's basically going to do is going to take you to the last page that you saw on my video on what to do. You click on change, put the new pin number in, and you're done. You don't have to go through all these steps. You just click password, change the pin, and you're done. So if you if you wanted to go that route, that's also an option for you guys. I'm just trying to save you the time of having to wait on home with Amazon. And I hope that this video has helped you guys. And do not hesitate to leave any questions below and I will get to them as soon as possible. There it is, guys. I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to leave your comments below and I will get to them as soon as possible. I can't leave without asking you for your support, so if you could please subscribe to this channel, like this video, and the most important thing is ring that bell notification so you get notified every single time I post a brand new video. You have been watching DFM TV. I am Dan the Fire Stick Man, your source for entertainment. Until the next video, happy streaming.